Alright, we're going to put together an Oster T finisher. Just going to walk through the parts with you. We've got the housings, the lower and upper. There's a little rubber seal on there too. Got the housing screws. Uh, we got our magnet arm, the field, and then the cord with that. The white wire goes to the left in the clipper. Black wire goes to the right. You got your two tension screws, foam pad, hanger bale. And then there's three parts to the switch. You have your switch contact, uh, the actuator arm, and the switch spring. All right, and so they're going to sit on top of each other about like so. So you put uh, the L in the thing, in the spring, goes into the switch contact right here. Hold it flat, make sure that the contact has a nice arc to that, and make sure that it's nice and clean. Then the opposing spring is going to go right into the hole on the actuator arm. You have to kind of hold it all together. And then the hole on the contact is going to go right on this knob inside your housing. And you kind of got to do it all together in one motion. and you're just going to want to hold that actuator arm down because otherwise it's going to try and jump on you so then you take your arm magnet put your two springs on it go ahead and snap that into place and then at that point you can let go of the actuator arm and it will actually hold it do not switch it to the on position because it will overextend that spring still Go ahead and place your uh, field all in place there. At that point, you can test that sp switch to make sure it uh, goes as heads and makes contact with the bottom of the field. You can see it right in that little crack right there that it's working fine. We're going to put our cord in place, pop our hanger bale in there, put our foam pad back on, place the top housing. Get that all in place, put your screws in, and you're good to go. And that is the guts to an Oster T finisher.